Hey everyone, it's McMage here, and welcome to a new game called Call of the Sea. This is a Lovecraftian mystery puzzle game, I think. And basically, I th I'm pretty sure we play as this woman, and we're looking for our husband? Question mark? So let me just make sure uh, subtitles are on for me. Oh, it tells you beforehand. How cute. And I don't know how it gets into the Lovecraftian, but I'm curious. Because I do like Lovecraftian. Specifically with, uh... What's it called? Dredge. This looks very interesting. Also, the art style looked... Very pretty. Nogify. Wagnago. Nora. What? That's what my name. That? What are those voices? I'm Nora. I guess. Prologue. A family heirloom. Oh my gosh. Am I a fish? Oh, the sun. My eyes. Okay. Oh, I'm not a fish. I'm just underwater. What? Oh, I like the side swimming. Where am I? That's clever. What if I back swim? Oh, I like that. Okay, sorry. I'm excited with the graphics. Already. Nora with an H. Why why are you underwater? And why you got leather gloves on? And why is this place underwater? Well, there's a door and a clock, which is somehow still working underwater. What time is it? Six? Six-ish. Six oh three. I've been here my entire life. I'm trapped in here. Are you? Underwater? You live underwater? Hearing sounds. I'm climbing these stairs again. You're swimming up these stairs again, technically. Oh, wh voices. Voices. The voices. Is there someone in the chair? I can't move. What is that? Music box. Oh. It's broken. I have to fix my old music box. I I have to get it. I have to. Love dreams like that. Those horrible dreams again. Oh, I hate the, I hate dreams like that. I've had them repeatedly ever since my mother died and left me that music box in her will. I Harry love... always said that old family heirloom had something to do with my family's strange disease. Disease? If the doctors won't give us an answer about your illness, I'll search for one myself, you said. Oh, I was wondering about the spots on your in hands. That search seems you lost yourself. I don't think I'd ever... Pardon me, madam, but the island is in sight. We'll be lowering the boat in just a minute. Thank you. Oh, uh, thank you so much, Captain Hodgson. I'll be right out. Thank you. Am I dressed? Do I need to get dressed? I'm picking the white sheet. The white right. sheet. The white dress. Time to gather my things. Where are my legs? Okay. Nora, do you normally... I'm definitely going to miss this bed. Falling asleep to the ship's rocking was delightful. Well, I'm getting seasick already. Okay, put on a dress, Nora. What was I thinking when I brought all these dresses on this trip? Ah, you know, women in the wherever age you're from. What's this? Diary? 1934. Ah, the amazing adventures of Nora Everhart. Art teacher. You're an art teacher. Tahiti. Merveille de Mer du Sud. Marvels of the Seven Merveille Seas, de Mer du Sud. Curious things from my journal. Nora, remember this. Okay. Up, down, to change, left, right, to change page. Okay. Up, down, left, right. November 1st, 1934. I finally arrived in Tahiti. Finding information about Harry's expedition is turning out to be tough. To be a tough row to hoe. 
What a phrase. I think I must have walked all over Papit, Papiti asking about them, but no one seems to know anything. About that place, 74 miles east of Tahiti. Some locals have mentioned an island, but they won't say anything else. It's like they think the place is cursed. I met an English sailor, Captain Hodgson. He knew some of the crew members on the Lady Shannon, a whaler. Apparently, the ship took an American expedition to an island east of Tahiti. According to Hodgson, it's been months since he last saw the Lady Shannon or its crew. Like every good sailor, the captain is superstitious. Do you think I'm mad? I'm not going to risk the lives of my crew by going to that cursed island, he said. November 4th, 1934. After three days of begging, I managed to convince him to take me close to the island. Save your money, Mrs. Everhart. Leaving me alone will be payment enough. I think that's a sweet, tender heart inside of that grumpy old sailor. So where the blonde chick? Zoom in on this. Where the blonde chick? That's the captain. This is his crew. Suspicious looking man. Oh boy. Nora. Okay, it's been a month since I arrived since... Since I received Harry's last letter, it was postmarked San Francisco and mentioned the answer to my illness might be found in the Pacific Ocean. I'm hoping his silence is only due to a delay in the Postal Service. July 14th. Last night I had another one of my vivid dreams, but this time something was different. I saw a strange island looming in the distance. In the heart of the island, a huge stone obelisk rose up before a mist-shrouded mountain. I woke up drenched in sweat. I keep having odd dreams, my husband is missing, and I can barely walk without getting exhausted. An enigmatic sentence written on the photo of my husband, an ancient stone relic that looks like a knife, a brass key with the letter CW engraved on it. All three were in a package I received yesterday from Tahiti, no sender. Find him 74 nautical miles east of Otaheite. My mind's made up, I'm going to Tahiti, I'll find my husband. Following his trail, I caught a train to San Francisco. There he bought passages to Tahiti on the SSS, SSS, SS Carmel. I'm not sure if it's fresh air, but I'm feeling better. Tahiti is expensive and hard. I miss the sea after we moved to Denver. I can't, I can't click. There we go. <laughs> and then I read this one. Okay. If you want if you want to read it pause it now cuz uh yeah so anything else about the journey no okay interesting it's a relief that i don't need it to walk anymore oh the cane i was like your thing it's not exactly a clawfoot tub but you can't always get what you want i wouldn't expect a clawfoot tub to be on a cute little ship Put your gloves on, Nora. Bring your magnifying oh, I glass. Cover up my hands before I leave the cabin. I wouldn't want anyone thinking I'm a circus freak. Because of spots on your hands? After spending Through so much south. time reading this book, I think I've learned a thing or two about Polynesian culture. Interesting. I a mysterious package at my house. I stored all its contents in my locked suitcase. Okay, is it is that the one next to this? Package Nora Everhart. Dapiti Tahiti. Or Papiti. Oh wait, I can play. I received a mysterious oh, I see. package at my house. I see. I was like, what are you talking about, Nora? Oh, I love this song. Oh my, I have the worst memory. I forgot the combination. Don't worry, Nora. It's an enigmatic sentence written on a photo of my husband, a stone relic that looks like a knife, and a brass key. Again. Thank goodness I always bring my journal with me to write things down. A photo of your husband. Where would that be? Um. Captain Hodgson has a very particular taste when it comes to decor. He's a sailor. Babe, what do you hmm. expect? I think I've overpacked. Oh, I know you overpacked. Is this the photo of your husband? I'd always dreamed of traveling. I was not the same without. Oops! I pressed the wrong button. Say it again. I'd always dreamed of traveling. I was not the same without you, Harry. Okay. Repaid Nora Everhart for the SS Carmel. 
Leaving November 1st, 1934. I was going to say 24. Okay, I need a photo of your husband, Nora. Where is that? Where's a nice photo of your husband? Merveille de Mer du Sud. Marvels of the Southern Seas, I Where's think. a nice photo of your hubby, Nora? Do you know? Do you have a photo of your hubby? Oh, is it 506? Because it just says Nora, remember this? Let's try 506. 50. Oh. This way is harder. 6. No, please. Please. 6. Nice! All right, now it's open. Oh, there he is. Harry Everhart. Find my husband, him. my partner, and my dear old pal. What is this? Some elements have hidden information. A Rotate to key find with it. With the letters CW engraved on it, and some enigmatic instructions. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. This what strange the heck? and sharp relic came in the package I received at home. It's thin as heck. Oh, it's blue. Why was it blue? Okay. What's this? I saw this island in one of my unsettling dreams. I drew it as soon as I woke up. Oh. I'm guessing that's his sweater. We're all set, madam. The motor boat is ready. Thank you. I hope I'm dressed. Okay, Nora. From here on out, you're on your own. I'm dressed. A family heirloom. You completed the prologue. Great. I I'm confused. Lower the motorboat. Be careful with Mrs. Everhart's equipment, lads. Yeah, lads. What kind of equipment does a an art teacher have? We'll be back to pick you up in three days. I really hope you find your husband there, madam. I hope it's Thanks, too. Captain. Me too. I'll see you in three days then. But please be careful on that island. You know what the legends say about it. I don't actually, but. Thank you, Captain Hudson. I'll trust your word for it, buddy. Okay. Chapter one, seventy-four miles east of Otaheite. Well, what a gorgeous here island! I am in the middle of the ocean, after traveling across half the world, just miles away from where my husband is supposed to be. Look at this beautiful blue water. You left a year ago to oh search my for God. a cure for my affliction. Your letters kept me close to you. But suddenly they stopped coming. What, what is happened, that? Opal? What is, what what is this? Find? Water? Whatever it was, it led you to hire a crew and set sail from San Francisco to Tahiti. And from there to this place. An island in the middle a of the rainbow. Pacific that the locals refused to even name. This place is huge, Nora. That's a lot of Everything island to cover for yourself. It's so familiar. As impossible as that may sound, is this the island I dreamed about? Oh my god. This, this can't be a coincidence. Call of the sea. Is there really a giant key in the middle of the island, Nora, or are you are you just imagining that? Oh my god. I'm loving the giant waterfall. Is there really a giant key there? Okay. We'll put these barricades here. A oh, rainbow! Idyllic island, surrounded by deadly reefs and protected with stakes to keep anybody from entering. That's what I'm saying. Nora, this is hecka suspicious. What There's is that? Definitely something strange about this place. Well. Time to find my hubby, my dear old pal. Hopefully no one steals my boat. Fingies crossed. Oh, it's a shell. Okay, Harry. Let's see if I can find I know any trace just of you around here. I Whoops. do love listening to the sea in there. Are you not gonna, you know, pull this closer, Nora? Take your suitcase out? I'll leave my things in the boat until I find somewhere to camp. Okay. How about right here? 
a at this beautiful camp. So somebody was on this a island recently. Va'a. A Polynesian outrigger canoe. Va'a. Beautifully crafted too. Interesting. What is this, a flute? Well, that's a vivo. A vivo. Flute the Polynesians play with their nose. Their nose. How, that? How do you play it with your nose? What the heck? Okay, who's who's uh tenth is, is this? What is that? Oh, there's a note. A note written in French. I only understand two words: ill and mort, island, and death. Um, I don't speak French. A quin ponque lira se mort. Nu evans profane set il. Poor me, <laughs> Trover Gelamort. Pass plus loin. It must be a warning about the dangers of the island. Probably. What the heck? Oh, oh. Why is it getting darker? Um. I'm sure it's fine here, right? I'm sure we're not in any danger, right? It's too idyllic to have danger. Looks like it opens from the other side. Hello? Hello? Nice parrots you've got. Okay. Let's go this way, I guess? I feel quite good. I dare say I might even walk a little faster than usual. Thank goodness, Nora, because you walk slow. What is this? These wooden figures are called Unu. Unu. This seems to be telling a story. Um. I couldn't tell you what that story is. I wish I could. Hmm. I hope we're not, like, missing anything. Probably am. There's just a lot to look at, a and bone fish hook. and her little um way to look at things. You have to be like right up against it, like right up against it, to see if you can look at something or not. Okay. What the heck is that? A a lizard? A chomping lizard? Part two. Oh my god. What? 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 What was that? Am I going crazy? Did anyone else see the firefly looking thing? The yellow orb? I feel like I'm going crazy now. Okay. Let's read the other stories. Oh, they are fireflies. Made me feel like I was going insane. We look peaceful, but clearly somebody wants to keep outsiders off this island. Yeah, right. What a lovely flower offering. Oh, this one's fallen. That's weird. Nora, I hope you brought bug spray, because I'm hearing these guys and they do not sound friendly. What is this? A bamboo offering? Shell offering? What's happening over here? Hey, okay, part three. Oh, they're sacrificing stuff to the lizard guy. Um, they're sailing away from the island to a population. Oh, not this one. This one. They go to different. They go to this island, big island. These guys turn into guys with tails or spears and then they block off the lizard monster. I'm confuzzled. A carving tool. Also known as a knife. This box. CW. Those are the initials on the brass key. <gasps> Use it. Turn it. It opens. Pop it. it. Lock so it. sent me this key was here. I feel like it was your husband. What the heck? Oh! Wait, this is back at the flowers. 
There's something in the this brick next to, to the thing. Hunt. Okay, let's go back then. Let's see what it is. It's in the this brick right here. This one, this odd shaped one. What is oh, this? What's hidden here? Why is it so big? Oh, it's wood. Okay. Don't mind if I yoink that. I'll be taking that, please, and Donkestein. Um, anything? Nothing else? No? Okay. Now. What I've read, the Polynesians don't need doors. So why build such a big one? Why? Why don't the Polynesians need doors? Oh god. Oh my god, that scared me. I thought something was gonna fall on me. And this one. Well, that did something. Nice. It works. I'm so big brained. Okay, these are gorgeous little gorgeous little flowers. Oh my god. This may be the first time I trust. Gotta load a in a new property. place. My childhood in Newburyport wasn't exactly the most thrilling thing. I see. I hear more waterfalls. That's a good sign, I guess. Candles. Moonshine. No food. Spam. A photo to the Everheart Expedition. Harry? Harry, you were here. June 24. You were here and I found you, damn it. Where are you now? Where is everybody? Where did you and all your crew go? Ain't that the question, sister? Lady Shannon? That name sounds familiar. I'd better check my journal. The Lady Shannon was the ship that they hired to come here. Cargo, six people, fragile instruments, several boxes of equipment, weapons, and explosives, and supplies for three weeks. The brass key with the letters CW on it. Oh, goodness, you row more. I arrived on the mysterious island. The fisherman will pick me back up in three days. I hope that's enough time. It's strange Polynesians don't use doors, much less mechanics, to protect a door. This is no ordinary island. I need the key I received in the mysterious package to enter the island. What does this mean? Harry was on the island, and I hope he's still here. I found a photo with all the expedition members, and I think I vaguely recognize some of them from the letters he sent me. But where did they go? Did they set up camp somewhere? Island dream drawing. Interesting. Okay. I'm stuck. Let's check out over here. Shall we? Um, wow. Oh, is this a bridge? Okay. This reminds me of those slot machines that Harry and I saw at the Atlantic City Pier. But a Polynesian version. I see. Oh, I was like, something made a noise. I don't know what the combo is. I'm just rolling. Bink! Nothing. I figured as much, but... I was unsure. Okay. Shall we continue onward, Nora? It's been years since I took such a long walk. This fresh air is doing me wonders. Yeah, you gotta get out of London town, baby girl. London town is not good for ailments. I can feel the air is denser here in this mangrove swamp. Okay. Interesting. I am thoroughly confused, Nora. I don't know what's going on. All I know is I gotta find my husband. Rays oh. of sunlight shining Turn around. Another symbol. So number four is the spikes. Okay, Nora. I think we're gonna have to figure this now out. I crossed half the world. I wouldn't mind crossing the other half. I think we have to figure this out but later. I have to do it with you, old pal. Because there's so much that we have to explore already. This sort of pond is a Polynesian fishing technique. There's another symbol Bone inside fish it. Hook. So, let me know what you guys think of 
this so far. I like it. I like the graphics. I'm confused. I'm curious. It is a little jittery at times, but that's what okay. A beautiful mountainous landscape. But that's okay. I hope you all enjoyed. Let me know again down in the comments what you think if you want to see more of this. And please be sure to like, subscribe, and ding that cute little notification bell. Unless you already have, then don't you dare touch it. And I will see you all in the next video.